want a mirror in the bedroom. I need a mirror just to keep myself still looking half decent. But look at this. See these cracks? That's got to be fixed. The jacuzzi heater needs to be fixed. The septic tank needs to be cleaned out. Let's get all of that stuff done, and then we'll talk about the mirror, OK? If you're always telling me, first you got to get this, and then you can have that. But before you do that, you need this first. Drives me nuts. Right? Man, Alan and Tanya Thick are back for a second <laughs> season of Unusually Thick, but this time around they are rolling up their sleeves for some big renovations. Please welcome Alan and Tanya Thick. And by the way, by rolling up their sleeves, I mean you, Tanya, because yes. really, let's be honest, Alan, I was I was actually able to watch two of the episodes this season. And she's kind of wearing the pants with the renovation. Are you saying I'm useless around <laughs> no, the house? No, no, you provide I'm, much charm and banter and colorful wit. I'm borderline <laughs> useless around the house. <laughs> where, yeah, did you, where did you come up with a concept to change it up this year with the renovations? And how did how were you not frightened of this? Because we know renovations are difficult when cameras aren't there. Well, I love renovations. I mean, the idea of having a finished room at the end of every episode was fun for me. I think that... It made it more interesting, our show. You she know, renovates they love. me about every week. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps you on your toes. Yeah. And you could really see that there's that sense of family and love with all the adventure and chaos that's happening. Carter, how old is he now? He's 18. 18, 18 years old. Man, he's inherited the comedic gene. Yeah, right? we, we were very proud of him. He, uh, uh, you know, our, our dialogue is all improvised. We we try to tell stories, uh, a little family drama, but with a sense of humor, and then adding the level this year of remodeling and renovation. But uh, our our dialogue we make up. It's genuine, and and he uh, a lot of confidence, a lot of humor, and uh, I think both of the the two of them, you know, Tanya and Carter, who had not done television before or shown any interest in being on TV, the two of them uh, uh, do a wonderful job, and I just kind of stand around and. Wait to see what happens. <laughs> Hilarious comedic timing and so many Canadian references, which I love. And we need to talk about also, Robin recently sent out a tweet of three generations of thicks. It's precious. I know he makes an appearance. Will he be picking up hammer and nail in an episode? Uh, he, no, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't roll up his sleeves, but he, is, uh, uh, he does pop in for uh, a couple of appearances, notably uh, uh, with Carter uh, in one scene, in one episode in particular, where he's going to take Carter on the road uh, you know, with a rock and roll band, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and being uh, you know such a loved couple as you are in Hollywood, you have a ton of famous friends, and they will be making appearances. Can you name drop just a few? I know Gilbert Gottfried is one, Lou Ferrigno, yes, Lance Bass, very cool. We Wayne do Brady. actually Wayne Brady, Cedric the Entertainer. Um, who else, honey? You got a lot of more well, Canadian. You know, we, we uh, try to make a point since we are improvised of having funny people on because that makes your your scenes funnier. Right. Uh, so uh, over these couple of seasons, we've had Hasselhoff and Bob Saget, Bill Maher, Minnie Driver, <laughs> uh, a, a lot of people who give us. Uh, we, we know they're going to deliver. <laughs> and uh, Cedric the Entertainer was particularly funny with uh, Tanya this year. We, he directs me in a music video, but oh no way, which lingerie, was a lot of fun. Yeah, and the, the, lingerie. But I I think that's the thing we did different this season as well is the fact that we've integrated our celebrities more into the storylines more instead of you know first season they were mostly making appearances mm -hmm. now they've actually become part of the story of every episode so that's I fun feel like you need to have the guy who's tattooed your face <laughs> on his body on the show we need to meet this man. Yeah, so there this is. lives See, on his body. I know. Every time he flexes, I sneeze. <laughs> How does it feel to know that somebody is walking around and you're mortalized on their arm? Well, I'm glad to be on his bicep. I would be afraid to be anywhere else on his body. Some other body part could, right? uh, who knows? It could be, if he got excited, my face gets distorted. Oh, my and, God. Uh, oh, like, Alan. Yeah. Well, too early. Is that wild? Could you imagine somebody inking your face on no. their body? Strange, isn't it? But he's got he's got a lot of interesting fans. There was one fan I remember that used to send hairy pictures of Alan. Like every time Alan had his shirt off on Growing Pains, he'd take a picture and he had all these like he liked like a fetish. Chest, he, had, he liked your of, chest uh, hair. Chest shots. Chest shots. Oh, and we're gonna check and see an update how it's doing right now. If you could just unbutton, no, I'm kidding. We're not gonna do that to you. But you guys no, have. <laughs> <laughs> you have to check this out. It is super fun. And love is really the glue that holds you all together, which is so sweet. Make sure you watch Unusually Thick Under Construction. It premieres tomorrow night at 10 on HGTV. Always Thank so good you. to see you. Come back anytime. We Thanks. need more laughter in our lives. You're so much fun. You're so sweet. <laughs>